if you suspect something's going on, certainly don't put yourself in any danger, but um, you can you can check on folks. Uh, you can check on your family. You can check on your neighbors. We, we perform these well-being checks routinely, uh, if not daily, uh, with varying uh, results. There's probably a segment of the population that's shaking their head and saying, why didn't the police go in? Why didn't the police find these individuals? Why, why did it take so long? Or how could they possibly have been there for so long? I will say that uh, the same Fourth Amendment that applies to you and your home, the same Fourth Amendment that applies to a drug dealer in his home or her home dealing drugs, uh, that's the same Fourth Amendment applies to anyone in any situation. It's, it's, uh, it's universal and uh, absent any information that gives us the probable cause or the, the exigent circumstances, uh, and by exigent I would mean I haven't had a 911 call and can't get anybody to the door. I haven't knocked on the door and hearing somebody inside asking for help. Uh, looking through a window and seeing somebody in distress or non-responsive. In the absence of all that, law enforcement has no authority to go into anyone's home. Knowing your neighbors, knowing uh, what their habits are, knowing uh, what seems out of place, all that information again is helpful to us when you're calling and asking us 